viewers welcome back to the channel sampurna adhyan uh, in this video i am going to discuss about the single phase base type step up cycle converter uh, it's p spy simulation you can see the schematic and the output responses on the cover and the very first response is a step up cyclo converter response and the down one is the step down cyclo converter response of a bridge type uh, i have already covered this uh, demonstration of a midpoint uh, a cyclo converter in the previous video and also the bridge type step down cyclo converter in my previous video so you can actually visit my uh, channel page and watch the playlist and you can actually get the uh, different uh, uh, speed spy simulation related videos so please subscribe the channel press bell icon so that you keep on getting the latest notifications on the update uh, like latest updates and uh, whatever be the uh, p spice uh, simulation related things we are keep on uploading so please uh, uh, watch this video till the uh, end we firstly we will discuss about that what are the functioning of this uh, cyclo converter then we quickly move to the p spice simulation now uh, i have already discussed that it is a frequency changer or uh, it converts the ac to ac in the high frequency or the lower frequency based on that we can name it a step down cyclo converter or a step up cyclo converters uh, i have also show you that uh, the different aspects of the cyclo converter in the previous uh, video so watch those ones and this one uh, was the midpoint single phase cyclo converter and its response and the bridge type cyclo converter configurations looks like uh, something uh, to the similar to this particular schematic so just you try to understand how when it becomes uh, the step up so uh, when whenever we actually switch on the device uh, more frequently than the supply voltage then it will become the uh, step up uh, cyclo converter so whenever your ac supply is of a certain frequency fs and if you are keep on uh, apply like uh, switching and switching off, switching on and switching off your uh, thyristor devices uh, greater than your uh, frequency of your supply frequency then your the frequency across the load uh, uh, voltage will become higher so for that we have in the bridge type configuration p converter and n converter uh, in the uh, you, configuration you can see that the this bridge type converter is uh, forwardly connected and this one is reversely connected to the load and uh, in the one alteration when we keep on uh, switching the devices more frequently then it will give the higher frequency over here so here if p1 p2 are forward by like in the positive alteration p1 p2 is forward by forward bias and the n1 n2 is also forward by so at that time if we trigger the p1 p2 then it applies the uh, positive voltage and when we uh, like a trigger from the n converter thyristors then it applies the negative voltage so what we are doing we are going to keep on turning on p1 p2 and n1 n2 frequently and alternative to each other and then after that the negative alteration will come into the uh, uh, action from the supply side then you uh, your p3 p4 and n3 n4 will become forward bias at that time you frequently switch on p3 p4 and n3 n4 uh, p3 p4 applies a positive voltage n3 n4 will apply the negative voltage application across the load so that actually gives the step uh, up configuration so quickly move to the p spice schematic let me show you that how we are going to do this we have already have a actually safe project to just save the time uh, i have shown many videos in my previous lecture that how to create the new schematic how to get the components you can follow those ones and we have the same supply which has a actually 12 volt rms value with the 50 hertz frequency now you can see that this is my p converter and this is my n converter with the load configuration of a 4k uh, that means 4 kilo ohm it is a resistive load for the simplicity i have taken the resistive load so that you can understand and get the uh exact output voltages also do not forget to connect your ground over here otherwise your piece by simulation will not work and it will show the floating error so now let me uh, show you that this p converter when for the positive alteration of the supply x1 and x2 will become forward bias and the time delay for this is zero and actually the time rise time fall v1 v2 and time of period are same across all the thyristors only the things is are going to change that time delay and the pulse width so time delay zero means that means immediately it will become the positive alteration it will uh, turn on 
but how long it will turn on so we have given the pulse width of 0.9 millisecond why it is like that because we have chosen the period higher period than the supply frequency here it is 50 hertz and uh, period and it is of a 500 hertz period that corresponding to 500 one, uh, that is 2 millisecond so uh, we have pulse width of a 0.9 millisecond that uh, means it will remain turn on for 0.9 millisecond for 0.1 millisecond we are providing the gap to trigger uh, this committed this thyristors based on that what is the load and the source voltage you have connected and wh when it is uh, committed because here we are not applying any force commutation uh, so here automatically based on the supply voltage value and the load voltage uh, sorry load value it will become uh, committed and then you can trigger your uh, these two thyristor which is n1 n2 so immediately after that your time delay will become 1.1 millisecond because it is going to turn on only for the up till from 0 to 0 0.9 millisecond then here we apply the triggering pulse uh, 1.1 millisecond that means we are actually providing between these two thyristors a 2.2 millisecond gap to commutate and uh, similarly actually i have explained in the midpoint uh, type of cyclo converter so you can follow that video also so at time delay of 1.1 millisecond we actually applied the pulse width of 0.8 millisecond that means it will remain turn on for the next 0.8 millisecond once it will get triggered at 1.1 millisecond and then again uh, it will turn off and then we can again uh, it will keep on uh, turning on and then this period is actually uh, working with the positive alteration of the supply that means your p1 p2 and n1 n2 is keep on alternatively triggering the uh, uh itself and uh, accordingly we are applying the positive and negative envelope of the voltage over here across the load and then uh, once the negative alterations come for the neg uh, your supply side then your thyristor this uh, x4 and x3 that means ac according to the uh, equivalent circuit diagram this is nothing but p3 p4 and this is n3 n4 these becomes the forward bias and similarly we actually providing the time delay of 10 millisecond and the pulse width uh, both are having the time 10 milliseconds and pulse width of a 0.9 millisecond and then uh, once uh, it will trigger then after that uh, we are providing a 0.2 millisecond gap uh, 1.1 millisecond from this side and 0.1 millisecond from this side and we are actually triggering these two again at 11.1 millisecond and it will remain turn on for the point next 0.8 millisecond so uh, in this way we are applying the positive and negative voltage for the uh across the load for the negative alteration of your supply voltage and when you run it then you will get a very good step up response for the cyclo converter which type cyclo uh, uh, converter now what is the simulation profile i can show you that what is my simulation profile so you can see that the simulation profile like basic period is a 50 20 millisecond so i am going to run it for the uh, like uh, five uh, cycles that is 100 millisecond and the maximum step size is 0 0.001 okay so let me simulate it and we'll go to the uh, like a simulation uh, response window that what are the uh, responses we are getting it will take a little bit a few seconds to get simulate once the colors you will get across these point uh, volt, voltage potential markers that means it will uh, get simulated now we can go to the simulation response window here we actually uh, tracing the input voltage and the output voltage only so let me go to the uh, response window here you can see that the green one let me make it a bit thicker for you so that you can observe it e easily and uh, so that uh, there will be no issue of uh, uh, visibility so uh, now you can see that the thicker uh, green uh, waveform is nothing but your supply voltage for positive alteration your p converter is uh, like uh, turning on and then your n converter side is turning on frequently so you are getting a positive and negative envelope positive and negative positive envelope, negative envelope and your output voltage frequency becomes higher than your supply frequency which becomes 10 times higher okay similarly goes for the negative alteration like your p3 p4 and n3 n4 are uh, conducting and based on that you are getting this uh, like a lovely waveform of your uh, bridge type step up converter you can also separate these two windows by adding the uh, extra plot and you can cut this one and paste it over here and you can see that uh, uh, your responses are like this one okay so this is nothing but the step up bridge type cyclo converter 
in the previous videos i have already shown you that how the midpoint cycloconverter we can simulate in pspice also bridge type step down cycloconverter so please uh, subscribe our channel and uh, press bell icon so that you key, uh, can get the latest notification and watch our playlist also and like uh, the videos also if you have any kind of a query or comment please uh, write us and we will try to uh, resolve your queries as soon as possible some delays we are actually getting in the uh, like uh, your uh, uh, this uh, uh, video making uh, but uh, uh, maybe after 10 15 days uh, some more videos will come so keep on watching us okay thank you for uh, watching this video thanks again